Hey there, YouTube. Chris for the Handy Guard channel here with a real simple how to video on replacing your propane pigtail hoses that go from your propane bottles into either a valve of some sort or into your RV. It's really simple, anybody could do it. No need to call for a special repairman. If you can turn a wrench, you should be able to perform this quick and easy repair. So, to start the story, I found that I had a leak last time I refilled a propane bottle. Because when you do take one bottle out of the uh, retaining clamp, the clamp gets loose and kind of floats up and down a little bit, so it flexes the hose, which goes into this diverter valve where you can select which tank you want to be primary. And you switch it to the other side when you want that tank to be the primary supplier. So I noticed uh, <clears throat> when I replaced this bottle, and I was putting it back in after having filled it, that when I moved the clamping bar up into the position to get the bottle in, I felt a draft of gas which is of course alarming. Oh no, you've got a leak, what am I going to do? So, uh, the first thing I did was determine that I had a leak. So I get the... I'll get the camera set up here in a minute to show you how easy it is to replace. What we're going to use here to replace the, the bad hoses, rather than mess around with any kind of attempt to repair the hose, you know, for 11 bucks, you get a new 12 inch propane pigtail. In this case I found them on the internet. They were shipped to me in just a few days. Uh, cost of about 11 bucks a piece and uh, 8 bucks shipping or something. But first I had to see, whoa, what, what's going on here? Do I have a leak? And at the time this was the only bottle that was supplying propane to the RV because the other bottle was disconnected and being refilled. So I'm going to close the valve on this one. And we're going to put the diverter switch back into the position that makes this guy the primary here. And open the gas. And I felt, I felt the leak, but I couldn't really determine exactly where it was coming from. So I brought out a little soapy. This is non-flammable just some 409 so I could see if I was getting any bubbles, any gas. You could probably use a solution of dishwater, uh, uh, dish soap and, and water in a spray bottle. And I sprayed it on. And at the time I detected the bubbles coming from right around where the, the crimped on connector is into the threaded fitting that it, it attaches with. I'm not seeing any bubbles right now, but that could be just a factor of there's enough pressure lifting it back up into place that it's not bubbling at the moment, but it was bubbling away quite readily here with the gas pressure. So I knew I had a leak here, and because they are so inexpensive and easy to replace, I decided to replace both of them. So that's what this video is going to be, just a quick and easy how to replace them. I'll get the camera set up and uh, we'll take the old ones off, put the new ones on, and be good to go. They get stiff over time. This The hose is super stiff. So they're aged and I don't mind replacing them. You know, if the leak was intermittent, I'm not going to take a chance on it starting to leak on me again. You know, if I'm traveling or doing anything else, you know, you want your gas supply to stay constant and not leak out. So we'll get set up and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to replace them. Okay, so we're going to remove the old pigtails, replace them with new pigtails. And in my case, I have <clears throat> what the, uh, the pigtail comes equipped with is a quarter inch pipe thread and on my rig there's an adapter to go from quarter inch pipe thread to the proper thread that goes into the 
the uh, diverting valve. I guess it's half inch pipe thread there. So I'm going to leave the adapter, the brass adapter in place and remove just the pigtail. Two wrenches, one for the quarter inch pipe thread, three uh, seven sixteenths and a five eighths for the adapter. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But first, making sure the gas is off, I'm going to remove the coupling to the pipe to the um, LP bottle so that yeah it's really really stiff time to replace these guys so it can rotate freely although I don't really care at this point if uh, it compromises the seal on the rubber just want to make sure that okay good to go very easy to remove And it will, it will slip a little bit in the rubber, but it's not intended for you to turn this if you're not turning the whole hose. Because it's crimped on there tightly. So you're going to have to rotate it a little bit. And there's the quarter inch pipe thread. So we removed our old one. Really stiff. And of course the difference is night and day from the old one to the new one. And it can handle a lot more movement. So in reverse order, removing the protective plastic cap on the pipe thread. We'll start by threading it in to the adapter. Without any Teflon tape, I'm going to see if it's, uh, it didn't have any on it initially. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and uh, then check it for leaks. Tighten it up. Nice and snug. The adapter is nice and snug. And then reattach to the bottle. doesn't get much easier than that. So now I should have reliable, much more flexible hosing when I go to take a bottle off and refill it. Because this kind of floats up and down when you remove a bottle, it should have plenty of flexibility in the hose to accommodate that without developing a leak from an old stiff hose. One more time, I'll uh, show you what the other side looks like as well as we go through the replayer, replacement of that side too. Okay, camera angle is not that great over here, sorry. Uh, trying to keep the sun out of the lens. So same, same drill over here. And notice the movement. That's what uh, taxed the old stiff hose and got it to leaking when it was moved around during replacement of the bottles. Keeping our adapter in place. Gonna loosen up the quarter inch pipe thread. Now I can probably just spin it, except that the hose is really stiff. I have to try it. Alternatively, I could remove the propane bottle if it was that much of a hassle. In this case, I think I can deal with it by leaving the bottles in place and be a little quicker. So there we go. We got the old one off. I may hang on to them just for a little while until I, I've verified that my new ones are operating okay. Keep them as a last ditch backup just in case. Brand new hose. Yeah, big difference. I think we can go ahead and remove the tagging. And what a difference an $11 hose makes. Alright, we'll take off the protective plastic cap. Thread them into the adapter. Okay, tighten it up, hold my adapter in place while I give it a good tighten, that should do it, reattach to the bottle, and with the flexibility there it makes it so much nicer to connect back up to your bottle than having a battle with that 
stiff hose. Of course, over time, these will get stiff and they'll take a set. They'll end up looking just like the old ones did. And it's time to replace them. Okay, we're all tightened up. So now let's go back and select that side, turn on the gas. And in the case of, um, to give you a little better view, I'm going to switch to my other camera mount and then give you a better view of uh, when I turn it back on. Okay, so to wrap up, that's the newly replaced pigtails. And we have the bottle open. Selector is over to selecting this bottle as the primary. Gas is open from both sides. And the way this valve functions is that when you have it set to your primary tank, it will drain this one first. And then without coming out here to flip the switch, it will start pulling off the other tank when the pressure is gone from your primary. Which is good because it saves you the hassle of running out of propane in the middle of cooking or hot water heating or whatever. But I prefer to leave my idle bottle turned off so that I actually do go ahead and exhaust one and I know it runs out before I switch to the other one. Because otherwise I'll run out of the first one if you have it set in the position it's in now, which is favoring the primary bottle, it'll drain that one. Start working on the other one, and you'll never really know for sure that you've exhausted this one unless you come out, pull the cover off, examine the, inspect the inspection area that shows you green or orange that will let you know whether you are on your, your backup bottle. So you have to pull it out and look at it. I just as soon know that it ran out and then I uh, take the one that's empty and fill it while I switch to the other bottle. Let's give it a quick test for any bubbles. Looks good. No gas leaks. And I can assure you this one was frothing and bubbling away like crazy with the old pigtail. And I checked it after I felt the leak. On the, on the back of my hand as I was changing it. So we should be good to go now. And it's, it's really that easy. So no reason to freak out about it. If you got old pigtails and they're getting stiff, you might want to do a little preventative. Get a new pair, or if you have a single setup, whatever. Replace those so they stay nice and flexible and you don't have that problem in the future when you're on the road. So there you go. Hope it was helpful. If you liked it, click like. Share it on your Facebook page, all that good stuff. I do appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing, and see you next video.